home with Mrs. Hand. This week, we're going to have a great time celebrating our pets. That's right. Do you have a pet at home? No worries if you don't. We're going to make all kinds of pets that you can keep in your room. See you soon. All right. Hopefully, you went and found a piece of paper and a pencil. <clears throat> and you are all set to go on... Uh, our pet birthday party that we're going to draw today. I just was thinking about what kind of theme to do this week, and it occurred to me that pets are always a fun thing to do. So we're just going to have a little celebrate pets week. And I kicked us off with this birthday party scene. Now, it may look like a lot to do, but when we take it step by step, it's really not too bad at all. And just in keeping with some of the th same techniques we've been using the last few weeks, we're going to keep this keg in the foreground. And we want it to be, you know, large. So we're going to start with it in the middle of our paper. And it's going to be rather big. So it's got an oval top. Come down on each side, the straight line. Then I take this and kind of curve it to mimic this line up top. Then I like to make myself have a cake plate. <clears throat> you could design anything that you want to set your cake on. If you wanted it to be a pedestal with a little leg on it there, you could. Just, just whatever you want to do. And you can change your style of your cake for sure. I'm going to go ahead and place in the candles and I'm just drawing over that back line and I'm going to erase out the part I don't need. And I'm going to go ahead and make the flames. So take some time <clears throat> and decorate your cake however you want. That's kind of the fun part. So maybe you've had a special birthday cake that you want to remember and you can copy it. But I'm going to give mine polka dots and stripes, my usual favorite thing to draw. And the reason I like to draw that is just, it gives me <clears throat> places to color when I trace it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and come in back behind it and go ahead and place in the cat. So it's the cat's birthday. So I want the cat to be in the center of the picture. So I'm kind of going from the bottom up and around. I'm coming back in behind the candles. So I created this little neck first and then the circle head. Go ahead and place in the ears and According, to, depending on where you started drawing, you probably just have a small amount of space for the birthday hat. There's two little diagonal lines right there. And I wanted my birthday hats to all have the theme of stripes, but you could definitely change those or add to those. All right, we got the beginning of our cat and you know, I know that his whole body is back in behind that cake, so you can imagine that part and draw in the tail coming out from behind the cake. Kitty cats are fun because you can come up with all the different colors of cats that you want. Maybe you have a cat and you could make this be your cat, or maybe you don't. Maybe you can draw the kinds of cats that you like. Or if this is not a cat birthday party, you're not a cat person, you could change this to a puppy party. My friend Jackson Jones invited me to his puppy's birthday party one time. And I thought it was a great idea to give your dog a birthday party. <clears throat> Maybe if we're still out of school, I will give my dog Pretzel a birthday party and share with you. We'll have to see what happens. All right, so there's the cat. Go ahead and give him his whiskers. 
Now the inside of my cat's eyes, I just did oval, circle, and then I just do this little long oval. So that's kind of what cats, the inside of their eyes looks like. All right, I want you to go ahead and we're gonna draw the line on the table really lightly, okay? Because we'll end up erasing some of this out. But to the left and to the right of the cake, that we're going to just separate the wall from the table. That'll help you with placing some other objects around. Let's go ahead and move over to the left of the cake and let's draw a gift. So, bit of a rectangle. Now, I don't need that line anymore. It's running through my box. I'm going to take that out. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the gift wrap on the box. The ribbons. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the bows. And the bows are just kind of like teardrop shapes or you can make them more triangle shapes. Put some little ribbons coming off. I'm going to straighten my box up just a little bit. I think I'm drawing very crooked today. All right. Now, over to the left of the box, I placed a little mouse. So, he's sitting on the table, so I want him to come down and his body to be partially on the table. So, circle for the head. Two rainbow ears. He's invited to the birthday party, so he gets a hat. And then we're two lines down. I'm gonna take out that table line. Don't need that running through my mouse. I'm gonna kind of square that off a little bit. Then make his little feet, two little back feet, and his legs. And a cute little mouse tail. And his face is just a little triangle nose, two eyes. He's smiling, he's happy. He and the cat are actually friends. And he needs stripes on his hat too. All right, and then we have this space right here left. So we have the dog. Now I'm still using that little table line to kind of guide where I put the dog. So I'm going to start from the table line up and go ahead and create the dog's body. Something like that. And then this is a profile view. So this dog's face is looking sideways. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slant that down just a little bit more. Down and around. Here's his nose. That might help guide you a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up erasing some of that out, but you need it right now to help you. It kind of looks like a big bean shape. All right, and then go ahead and give him an ear over the top of that space. We can erase out part of that headline. Now oh, you see it's starting to look like a, like a dog. All right, I'm gonna give him a hat too. And then we're gonna take out those extra lines. So the hat is just a triangle. I ran out of room to put the little fuzz ball at the top of that one. And then just a circle eye, a little smile. If you can fit it in, you know, Put in a little skinny tail back here. And I gave my dog spots as I was coloring it, but make your dog however you like. All right, so I have this uh, right-hand space I'm gonna go to next. So I'm gonna go to what's on the table, and guess what? The cat's best friend is the fish in the fishbowl. So a letter U for the fishbowl. Actually, you get to leave in the, the line because this this fishbowl is glass. And that means it's clear. 
So we actually would see the table through our fish bowl. So you get to leave that one. Because we're gonna see through the bowl. All right, let's go ahead and give our fish some rocks. Don't leave these out. He needs them to have a healthy place to live. And then a little piece of grass. I call this the fern plant. So just a line in the back and forth and little ovals. And then place your fish. He's at the party too. So I just go around, make him a really pretty tail. And then don't forget his party hat. Yeah, we'll go fish in the bowl. All right, I love drawing this next pet that's at our birthday party. That's the bird. The bird is there, but he has to be in his cage. We're going to start with a rectangle shape. Something like that. Actually, this will be the bottom of the cage, so that's good. Have this little skinny rectangle there. Skinny rectangle over the top. We'll go ahead and make the top of our bird cage. Kind of looks like a Crayola. All right, in the middle, go ahead and place a little perch, a little rectangle perch. And then your bird is just an oval like this, like a rainbow. And then here's his wing and you can erase out that part of his body line. And then some tail feathers. And of course, don't forget his party hat. His eyes and a diamond for his beak. Just a little line in the middle. Okay, so once you have the bird drawn, then you're gonna take your pencil and just come straight down on the top because it is a cage. So you're even gonna go over the bird um, because he would be behind, he is behind the little bars. All right, and then he's on a stand, so watch this. You're gonna come down with two vertical lines. Watch, you have to make this go, appear to go through the fishbowl. Don't come past the table line, I almost did that. But yeah, since this is clear, we would actually still see this pole for our bird cage coming through. When you get ready to color it, I wanted to make sure that this part of the fishbowl matched the table because this, if it's clear, then this part would be the color of whatever you color your table. And then I went ahead and colored the top part blue because that should reflect the water in the bowl. All right, we have a little bit more space right down here, so we're gonna complete our, well, there's one more thing I forgot, but we'll come down here and draw two gifts. So since I had kind of a rectangular space, I made a rectangle gift the same way as we made the one earlier. Um, then we have room for another one down here. <clears throat> I'll give this one a little bit different bow type. I also decorated this package a little bit more. You could you could definitely go back and put decorations on those too. I gave it a skinnier ribbon. And then I sometimes just like to do this curly ribbon on it. Um, how about some polka dots? Okay, something like that. And one more thing was I forgot the banner. So the banner just goes back and behind the cat. And then wherever you have space, it's triangles. So you're gonna have to use your imagination here and know, just depends on how you drew. I know that only part of the triangle would show there. So I'm just pretending like I kept on drawing them. Wherever I need to, oh, 
let something overlap it, that's fine. Yeah, then we've got a little birthday party banner there. All right, friends, this was a lot. It, hopefully, you really enjoyed this one. I did. I enjoyed coming up with this idea and coloring it. So, take your time on it. Uh, if you need to pause the video, that's fine. That's the beauty of the video. Pause it, do what you can, come back. I'll probably have some easier things later on in the week.